the Hopkinton Police Department hosted their fifth annual National Night Out. National Night Out is a countrywide community building program that allows community members to meet local law enforcement officials. With a few exceptions, the event is typically hosted by different police departments around the country every first Tuesday of August. This year's event featured some good food, fun for the kids, a number of different vendors, and of course, the always beloved canine display. How you doing today? Uh, this is Officer Diana, Jay Diana with Hopkins Police Department. I'm uh, one of the newest officers. I am going to the FTO program right now, and tonight we are hosting National Night Out, which is an opportunity for the people of the community to come and meet the police, some of the firefighters, um, and just really come and interact with us so we can get a feel for the, for the town and uh, see if people have any ideas or just get to know everybody. And uh, really it's just a good night and we got live music, food, and it's just a great event for everyone to come together and uh, show their, uh, us to show our support to the town and for the town to show their support for us. And uh, it's just a good night and a fun night. Everyone, if you're able to see this now, come on down. HCAM's Alex Walton caught up with some of the vendors at National Night Out. This is uh, Safety Net is a radio frequency tracking system for people with Alzheimer's, dementia, kids with autism, and the Hopkinton Fire Department is trained and equipped with this equipment. And what this does is it can locate somebody within minutes if they go missing. So if somebody were missing from, say, this event, or from a school, or from an assisted living facility, or anywhere, um, the 911 call would go in, the uh, Hopkinton Fire Department would enter that person's frequency into a receiver that they have and literally find them in minutes. Samaritans are a suicide prevention organization. We provide services of three different types. We provide a helpline and text line for people to call to us who are suicidal or depressed and a grief support group for people who have lost someone to suicide and an outreach program for going to the community to present suicide and suicide prevention. Happy to say we've made several presentations to uh, Hopkinton schools, the high school and the other schools, so we're very happy to be partnering with them and with the police and, and the activity. Thanks very much for having us. Hi, my name is Tamoria Saber. I'm the chair of the Hopkinton Youth Commission and we're so happy to be partnered, partnered up with Denise Hildred, who is the Youth and Family Services Director of Hopkinton. And what we do is we help provide community events, resources, and support. We're happy to be a part of Police Night Out to see the community come out in the summertime, let everybody know that there's tons of helpers around. So we have everything from Youth and Family Services. So you can call Youth and Family Services if you need particular help with mental health financial support, Hello. even food. You? A lot of people don't realize that those services are needed here in Hopkinton. We also obviously have the police and the fire department, and then as the youth commission, we do a lot of community events. It's National Night Out. It's a community engagement event for local departments across the country. Um, I'm here today representing Hopkinton Public Safety Communications, so dispatch centers for 911 and, and Responding to emergencies, we put the units where they need to be and answer calls from the public, whether it be informational or emergency. So what are you going to end up doing with the pieces you finished today? I'm just putting them out. People can grab them or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Cool. It's usually when I do these kid, kid-centric events, I try to send people home with a little something. It's really nice. I am lamp working today, so I'm going to make some fish, some turtles, some other small sea creatures. And uh, what brought you out to the event? Um, I actually talked to Lieutenant Bennett and uh, he told me it was going on and I want figured I'd offer uh, some entertainment and I come out and blow glass for the kids. We're the uh, Old Guard New England group and uh, we do honor guides for uh, Hopkinton for the Memorial Day um, holiday and we also are the honor guard at Bourne Cemetery for uh, wreaths across America and uh, we do uh, escorts for remains of veterans uh, to Bourne Cemetery to honor them uh, and we're just volunteering up here to cook today. 
And every Sunday, the first Sunday of the month, we come to Hopkinton to the gazebo and we perform the tap ceremony where they do the Pledge of Allegiance and they play the bugle. This year's canine display was hosted by the Middlesex Sheriff's Department. Canine Pebble, especially for the prison, for in the prisons, is we actually can search people with her because she's friendly. She's got the floppy ears, she doesn't put anybody in fear, so we use her to actually search the inmates. It, it's a very effective for us in the prisons because we're dealing with such small amounts of narcotics inside the prison that it's hard to pat people down and find that small amount of drugs. So we use her, she'll come in, we line people up just like you guys see these boxes here, and I'll line people up like that. And then I'll actually search them the same way I would search the packages, I would search the people. Now what she's doing is she's putting her nose as close to the source as she can and then she's getting rewarded on it. <laughs> 